Hey everyone and welcome back to Brush and Bubbles and another painting tutorial. If you are new to our channel then welcome to the Bubble family. We bring you new painting tutorials every week so you can get creative from the comfort of your own house with step-by-step -step instructions. I'm super excited for today's painting because we're going to be painting a panda. And the reason why I love this painting so much is the kids can get involved. It's super easy, it's super effective. It's really, really fun to paint. You can change up the colors and I'll be breaking down the panda into step-by-step -step manageable chunks. This is also a perfect painting to do if you've got a friend or family member who's just had a baby or is expecting a baby because it makes a lovely, lovely painting for a nursery. So before we jump into our panda painting, I'm going to talk you through what you'll need to create this at home. I would just start by covering up your table with some tablecloth, old newspaper or an old towel. You'll need a canvas, any size canvas that you like. If you haven't got a canvas, you can do this on a piece of card instead if you want. You'll need a couple of different size brushes. I have a medium square shaped brush and a smaller pointy one. You need some kitchen towel to dab the brushes on, a glass or a pot of water, a palette to pop all of your paints in, and your acrylic paints. Once we get started, I'll be showing you which paint colors I'm personally gonna be using for my painting, but you can use any colors that you want. I'm gonna go for a light pinky peach shade for my background, but if you want to, you can go for a green background or a blue background or a purple, any color that you want. So just take a moment to set yourselves up, make sure you're comfortable and relaxed. You can get yourself a drink or some snacks. You can even pop on some music if you want. And then we'll jump straight into creating our panda painting. In my paint palette, I have white, pink magenta, some black and yellow paint. The first thing we're going to do for our painting is create the color that we want for our background. So I'm going to go for a very light pinky peach shade. So for this, I'm going to be mixing up mostly white with a little bit of pink and a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to pick up one of my bigger brushes and moving over to my paint palette, I'm just going to scoop up quite a lot of this white paint, maybe two or three scoops, just so I've got enough that will cover the background of my canvas. And then to this white, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pink and add it in there and give it a good mix just to make a nice light pink colour. Again, you don't have to use the same colours that I'm using. You might want to go for a blue background or a green background or you might even just want to go for pure yellow or pure pink. It's completely up to you. Now to give it more of a peach tone, I'm just gonna add a very little amount of yellow. And I'd suggest if you're doing this color, just adding a little bit of a at a time because the yellow goes quite a long way. So if you just add a little bit at a time and give it a really good mix like I'm doing here, you can just control the color that you're making a little bit more. And then if you feel like you want to add a little bit more yellow, you can then just go ahead and add a tiny little bit more and give it a good mix in. As soon as you're happy with your background shade, what we can do is just scrape a little bit off your big brush just on the side of your palette. And we're gonna pop this big brush down for a moment. And we're gonna pick up our smaller brush because what we're going to do is we're gonna use this color that we've just created to draw in the shape of our panda. So we want his head to be coming out the bottom of the canvas. So all we're simply gonna do with your smaller brush, picking up some of that paint we've just made, is we're just gonna draw a semicircle at the bottom of your canvas. So this is gonna be in the lower part of your canvas. So just start from one side, whichever side you want, and we're just going to do a curved swoop, going up, just pick up more paint when you need it, and then it's gonna curve around and then meet the other side of your canvas. And don't worry if this line isn't straight or neat. We want our panda to have lots of character and they might have a little bit more of a wobbly head. So don't worry too much if your line isn't completely perfect. What you can do as well, if you are painting on a canvas, is just paint the sides. So you can just follow this line around either side, 
just because whatever we paint on the front, it's quite nice for us to paint it on the sides as well. Once you're happy with your curved line, which will be the top of the panda's head, we're just going to draw in where our panda's ears will be. So these are little shapes, and I'm going to show you one and you can copy it, just coming out from either side of the head here. So it starts at the base and then swoops around. It's a little bit bigger at the top. And then it curves around and comes in a little bit as it meets the head. And then you can do another one on the other side. Now these are gonna be painted in in black, so you don't have to worry too much. If you don't like the shapes of your ears, we can make them a little bit bigger. We're just getting in the rough shape of where they're gonna be. So I think I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more paint around the shapes that I've already done. because we're filling these in with black, we won't be able to see these pink lines afterwards. Once you've drawn in the shape for your ears, we're just gonna give our little brush a really good wash in your water, because we're not gonna need it at the moment, but we're gonna need it a little bit later. So just give it a good wash so it's nice and ready for us and just pop it down on your kitchen towel. We're now going to move back over to our big bad boy brush. <laughs> and all we're gonna do now is pick up some of that paint that we've created, and we're just gonna fill in the whole of the background. So this is gonna be from the head and the ears up. So what you can just start to do is very carefully paint this color around where you've just drawn in the ears and you've just drawn in the head. And then we're gonna fill in this whole section up here and we're gonna wrap it around the sides of our canvas as well. So just take your time and just fill in that whole top section of your canvas, just making sure you're leaving this part down here empty and you've left the ears empty as well. Soon as you've painted, that top section of your canvas, what you can do is you can just carefully tilt it to the side and we can then paint the sides, bringing the paint down all the way to meet this line that we drew where the head was. And then we can also do the top and the other side. If you're painting this on a piece of paper or card, you don't need to do this bit. But if you have got a canvas, it's just nice to make sure that we're covering up the edge with the same paint that we're using on the front. Now going to give our big brush a good wash in our water. We're now going to pick up our smaller brush again. And what we're gonna do with this brush is we're gonna start drawing in where our eyes of the panda are gonna be and where the nose and the mouth is gonna be. So for this, we just want to use some black paint. So I'm just gonna dip my little brush into that black and then I'm going to draw in my two eye shapes. So pandas tend to have big black shapes around their eyes. So that's what we're going to draw in now. And the great thing about these eyes is they don't have to be neat and they don't have to match. We can go for quite wonky, wobbly, splodgy looking eyes because we're then going to be adding the little white dot later on in our painting. So just pick up some of this black paint with your small brush. And moving over to your canvas, we're just going to draw in our first eye. So I like to do this like a sort of egg shape that's on the side. So we can start by doing that. So just do that oval egg-like shape with your black paint. Remember, don't worry if this isn't neat. We want our panda to look nice and individual and have lots of character. So there I have my first sort of egg shape or oval shape. And then I'm gonna do another one on this side. Same sort of thing, but facing the other way. So 
And if you're happy with that, we're just going to paint them all in with black paint. As soon as you've filled them in, if you wanted to make them a little bit bigger or you feel like you want to change the shape, this is your chance just to do that carefully now, just by adding a little bit more black paint just around the circles. If you want to, you can always add a little bit of water into your paint, give it a good mix and then go back in and, and add in a little bit more paint just to make them slightly bigger or if you want to, to change the shape or make them slightly neater. Once we've filled in our eyes, we can now move over to the nose shape. So this is just going to be a little button nose just in between the eyes and a little bit lower down. So all we're going to do for this is we're going to start with the top of the nose. So I like to do a little curve for the top of the nose. Then I like to bring it down on either side so it looks a little bit like an upside down triangle. Once you've drawn in that upside down triangle, we can go ahead and fill it all in with the black paint. And then to draw the mouth, it's actually really easy. All we're going to do is we're going to do one line coming down from the very base of this nose, just going down just a little bit like this. And then we just do two little curved lines going out from the bottom of this line that we've just drawn. So one curved line can go that way and the other curved line can go that way. Once we've finished the mouth and the nose, we can now move back over to our ears. So all we want to do is we want to fill in our ears just with black paint. So what I like to do is just go back over that line that we drew very at the very beginning, just drawing out our ears. So we want them to come from the base where the head is. So I'm just going to carefully draw around the ears that I had at the very beginning. But I'm actually going to ignore this pink line I've got and I'm actually gonna bring the black paint down to meet the white part of our panda's head just like that and then you can do the exact same thing on the other side so just painting in the black paint following that shape that we drew for our ears which goes a little bit wider at the top and then swoops around and comes in a little bit to meet the white part of the panda's head you can then draw yourself a little line at the base of the ears where the ears meet the head, just there, just there. And then we can go ahead and fill them all in with black. So just make sure if your paint here for your eyes and your nose, make sure you're not smudging it. If you want to, you can always twist your canvas around so you've got a little bit more control with how you're painting in your ears. So just decide what you think you need to do for your own painting. And remember, you can always swivel your, your canvas or your piece of card around just to help you. If you want to, you want to make your panda's ears a little bit bigger. We can just carry on adding a little bit more black paint around the edges of these shapes just to make them a little bit bigger if you want to. Once we've finished filling in our ears, we want to give our little brush a really, really good wash in our water. We want to make sure all of that black paint is off the bristles because we're now going to be moving on to painting in our cheeks. And the cheeks that we're going to use for our panda are going to be a very light pink. 
you want to make sure none of that black paint is on a brush. Just give it a wash and a dab and a wash and a dab on your kitchen towel. To mix up the colour for our cheeks, we're just going to pick up some white paint. You can move it over to another part of your palette. And then to this white, we're just going to add a little bit of pink and give it a good mix just to make a nice baby pink colour. Once you're happy with your baby pink colour, we're now going to draw in our cheeks. So these are little oval shapes that are actually just underneath where the eyes are. And they're going to be smaller than the eyes. So we just want to start really small because we can always make them bigger. So I'm just going to do my oval shape coming out this way. Underneath where the eye is. And fill it all in. Again, don't worry if they're not neat or straight. It's nice if they've got a bit of wobble to them. And then once you've done that one, we can do exactly the same on the other side. So just the same sort of oval shape. This one's going to be facing the other way. So it's going to be facing downwards. There we have our panda's cheeks. For our last finishing touch, we just want to add in the actual eyes of our panda. So what I actually like to do is I like to use the other end of my paintbrush. So instead of using the bristly end, I'm gonna use the other end. And all I'm going to do with this is dip it into some pure white paint. Just so we have a little bit of paint blobbed on the end of our small brush. And what we can do with this is very carefully just dab it in the centre of this eye that we've got here, the black eye, wherever you want it. So I actually like to find the centre and then bring it down diagonally more towards where the, um, the nose is. And then just do a little dot there. I then do exactly the same thing again. So I just pick up some pure white paint using the other end of my brush. And then I do the same thing on the other side, trying to match where that eye is on this one. I try and be careful and do it on the same sort of area on the other eye. So just a little careful dab of your brush. And then there you have your panda's eyes. So there we've completed our panda's face and if you're having fun and want to carry on what you can do is you can spend some time adding some dots or some zigzags into your background you can use some different colors if you want you can go wild with creating more things going on in the background of your painting as soon as you're happy you have completed your panda painting Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you all enjoyed that. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you get a little notification every time we've got a new painting tutorial. And if you happen to like this video, then don't forget to give us a little thumbs up. Thank you so much, everyone. And I really look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye.